Hello and welcome, my name is TJ. I'm an optician here at SporterX and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about a new frame that dropped from Maui Gym. This is the new U Landing. The frame is made of a nylon material, making it extremely lightweight as well as durable. This is an eight base wrap, which provides maximum coverage and also gives you a very wide viewing range and comes in four frame color options that are available in matte or gloss finishes. This frame also comes equipped with a fair amount of grip. Looks like rubber, but really it's more of a rubber substitute, much more eco-friendly. You can find it on the back third of the inside temple along the curve right here. Almost the entire nose pad is made out of this material as well as the extended side shields that you can see right here, which provide a little bit of extra coverage. Now, if you happen to be rough on your glasses or you have issues with them falling off your face from time to time, it also comes with a optional leash attachment back here. Now, I should mention it doesn't come with a leash, but at least it does give you that option if you want a little bit of extra security. These frames also come with a super thin glass lens in Maui Gym's patented Polarized Plus 2 lens technology, which of course, blocks 100% of UV rays and eliminates glare while enhancing color and definition as well as depth perception in your field of view. Now let's talk about prescription capabilities. The RX range for this frame goes from a plus three to a minus 450, and you can get that in Maui Gym polycarbonate, evolution, or brilliant lens materials in single vision or progressive prescription options. The frame width is 133 millimeters, so I'm gonna try these guys on, and for size and scale, I'm going to include my sizing specs right over here, as well as the frame measurements over to my right. Now, if you're an everyday hat wearer like myself, you'll appreciate the hat compatibility. As you can see, the build does not come in contact with the top of the frame because the chassis kind of dips down near the temple you can see right there. And also the side temples fit seamlessly beneath the hat and doesn't cause too much pressure in one area. So even when you're wearing these for long hours, you're going to avoid headaches or any kind of uncomfortableness along the side. Now this frame also comes with spring hinges. Some people are kind of averse to that. However, other people prefer it because it gives a little bit more customizable fit. Another point that I noticed involving the fit has to do with the rubber substitute along the nose pads. Because they're not embedded and the entire nose pad is made up of that material to flex to the contours of your bridge, eliminating pressure points on one specific area and if you have a skinnier face shape like myself or a skinnier bridge for that matter that means that the frame will sit a little bit lower now this may vary from person to person especially if you have a different face shape obviously mine is a little bit long but as you can see the frame or the frame bottom does not come into contact with my cheek which increases airflow and ventilation preventing moisture buildup on the back side of the lens now another point of difference, and I'm not sure if this was intended when they were designing this frame, but I found it to be very beneficial having the rubber substitute along the extended side shield right there, because what it does is allow for a little bit more grip and security when putting the frames on or taking them off. And if you're somebody like me with butter fingers, if you have a tendency to drop a lot of things, having that little bit of extra security goes a long way. But one thing I did notice is that when you fold the temples down, while it doesn't come into contact with the back side of the lens, which is a good thing, because of that spring hinge and with a little bit of applied pressure, it could potentially occur, as you can see right there. The best way to avoid that is to keep it in the included triangular foldable case, which also comes with a felt lining. So it's gonna prevent scratching from occurring on the front of the lens and also includes a microfiber cloth. So only use the microfiber cloth when you're cleaning the lens. So try to avoid using your shirt or paper towels or anything else that could potentially damage that awesome looking Maui Gym mirror. Now when you combine the frame material, the full wrap, the prescription capabilities, and Maui Gym's amazing lens technology, these are gonna be great for fishing, everyday lifestyle, driving, hiking, boating, sailing, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for contact sports. Okay, so that about covers all the information for this review of the Maui Gym New You Landing, but if you have additional questions, feel free to give our opticians a call. You can also leave a comment below and we'll be sure to get back to you with an answer. Also check out our YouTube channel or maybe click on this video over here for more content and check us out on all social media platforms at SporterX. We'll see you guys in the next one.